everybody, this is Roxy, and I am on number 14 of my index card series. And these are specimen cards. So what I did, I um, picked a bunch of little flowers from our garden, or just our, you know, outside our house. Laminated it. Anyways, um, I used the micro microfluor microflower basically and it's from Beeline and I've seen this on um, Amazon still. I'm sure you can still get it and it's super easy. If you haven't seen it. <clears throat> it's just all in your microwave and all you do is you get two couchy like felty things and then two pieces of Kind of a cotton. I'm sure you can replace this after a while. I've used it, I think I've had it 25 years. So I did a lot of wedding invitations and whatnot. So you put that down, put that down, put your flowers. And if they're really thick, like the <clears throat> these little daisy kind of flowers, I kind of push them, smush them, and then actually put the flower petals this way, all one way, so then when you put this down, you can kind of push the petals down as you go. And then you put that on, put your sandwich back together, and microwave, and it says, the instruction booklet tells you, like, the wattage of your microwave and how many seconds increments you do. So, I did that yesterday. <clears throat> they dried nicely. And then today, I have a bunch. These bigger ones, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. But this was a really cool flower. The hummingbirds had got to it, evidently. So they were sticky. Super sticky. This is from... Uh, these are geraniums. <clears throat> Isn't that cool? They're so pretty. Something on there. A little stamen. It's like looking through a microscope. And then these are just cute little tiny flowers. I don't even remember. I don't even know what they all are. Scrubby gets them at Gertens the, up the street and throws away the tag and he has no idea what they are. These are geraniums as are these little buds. They look like little rose buds. Okay, so... <clears throat> so I just laid them down on my laminator sheet. And I've got still pictures of how I do that. So I just kind of figured out which circle I was going to use. <clears throat> Excuse me. So... I figured that size for the, um, to cut out this, and then this size for the window. And then I have other cards that I'll be showing using a larger size. Or not cards, coin slots. Making your own coin slot thing. So here's them. And then these I can just use in like a, maybe a card. And all I did with this is cut out two cards together and then, you know, glued them together so the back is clear or plain. So, and then you can, um, I know I have a stamp somewhere that says specimen. I think it's from a Seven Gypsies stamp set. But darned if I could find it in time. And then I got tired of looking. And these pretty flowers. I love all the stamen. There's that little geranium bud. And that one. So that's super simple. Like I said, I just put a bunch of cards together, ran it through my vagabond, and then just aged kind of and then I can just use these for any kind of a garden journal or 
anything. I mean, it's pretty. And these, again, I like I said, here's what's one cut out. Um, I can use these for whatever. So I will show, like I said, pictures of how the laminating process goes. I can just tell you what I do is um, I took a big sheet and I use this as a guide to kind of space all the flowers. And I ran it through and um, <clears throat> I use a little, like a, it's a, actually a cafeteria tray I got a, at some garage sale or something. But it, it's about that high, any kind of like a TV tray. And I put the, my laminate sheet on that so that it's right in line with my laminator slot. You know, so you're not like trying to fight with all the goodies inside. And like I said, I'll show pictures of that so you get the gist of it. And then I like to run my laminates through at least three times. Sometimes I don't have to. Once in a while, like these were, because they're a little thicker, it was, it did get a little wavy on some of them. They kind of, here, that had a little crease. But otherwise it was perfect. Typing, not typing, stamping specimen on here with the Your Creative Studio alphabet sets. And I'm using this bottom kind of scrolly font. So what I do is I do every other letter and then come back with every other letter. So here's um, S E. I had the I on there, but it was getting kind of wonky because of the spacing on the I. So I'm doing the I separate. So I have S E A. And then I'm going to come back with P E M N and then the I separate. So it's a little better spaced. Okay. Then I'm going to do some more um, stamping. I did this already on a couple of them. And now I want to do, there's a super cute ladybug on this one from Shamil. Cute. Do both of them. And then we can just talk about gardening, you know, what we plant. Because I want to keep track of what we plant better than what my hubby does. He just throws it in and Throws away any um, markings for it. I like to keep track of stuff. Don't we all, right? But not a lot. Plus, my family, we're all kind of nuts. Like, we all keep notes everywhere. We don't keep journals. We write notes here and there. Whatever's handy. We got that from my mom. She would rip whatever was close. A calendar page. An envelope. Magazine. Tear half the page out. And even my brother's like that. We're all like it. It's kind of funny. Alright, so. Here these are. That's a cute ladybug. 
And then I've got that one, of course. I do want to, um, um, I did, I missed some of that. But you know what I can do? I can put ladybugs there. Cover it up or hide it. I think these would be fun, obviously, for a journal. But keeping track of your garden. I did a veggie, a lot of veggies this year. I've got cucumbers. I have purple cherry tomatoes, which is weird. They're like dark, dark purple. I thought they were black and I thought, oh no, did they get mold? Or whatever you call that. Because at our old house, anytime I tried growing tomatoes in a, the ground, they would get blight, that's what it is. They get blight, they get bugs, they get whatever, and they just never could make it happen. So now I'm doing it in buckets. And pails. And big pots. Alrighty, so here they are. I love how they turned out. And then, like I said, you know, you can journal on these, keep track of stuff, do whatevs. So thanks for watching. Am I on camera? Of course not. Way too high. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you have any ideas for the index card series, let me know. I have a huge list. I've got, I have, this, these are confidential. All these, and then more in my head that I better write down. Um, so thanks. thanks for watching. Bye.